For most of us, we are spending more time inside our homes than ever before. But just because you're indoors doesn't mean that we can't benefit from the purifying power of plants. Here to tell us more is Jeff Wallach from Wallach Garden Center. Jeff, thank you so much for talking with me today. Yeah, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm not inside. I'm outside. But I can still, I can still talk to everybody about all the indoor stuff that's great. You're the guru of plants. So indoor, outdoor, whatever, you know all about it. So, so Jeff, for those of us who are spending more time indoors than outside, what can we do to bring the benefits of nature inside our homes? Yeah, so uh, what's very trendy right now is indoor gardening or houseplants. Um, so what I have here today are, are six basic houseplants that are easy to grow inside. And they're also very great uh, to help purify the air in the, in the house. Since we are staying inside a little bit more, um, it kind of will bring some green inside, will help purify the air, and just kind of brings a little bit of joy. Um, so some of the plants that I have here, um, the first one here, this is the mother-in-law's tongue. Uh, mother-in-law's tongue is really easy to grow. Again, a good beginner um, house plant. Very low light, very little water. Um, you kind of want to treat it more like a succulent. Um, this one is actually a really good one to have um, in your house because it is a very good uh, one that it helps purify the air a lot more than some of the other house plants do. Um, so that's one that you can use. Um, the next one is the pothos here. This is one of my favorite. I actually have this in my bedroom. Um, they say keep this one in your bedroom because it actually helps you, it's supposed to help you sleep better at night. Um, it's easy to take care of. I maybe water mine once a month, if that, when I remember it. Um, it's nice and green, and then it's also going to you know, be more of a trailer as well, too. So that's another great, again, low light win, or it could even take high light as well. So very super easy plants. I like to pick out the easy plants because I kill a lot of them. Uh, so things that are easily um, grown indoors and easily uh, taken care of. So the next one is the spider plant. This is an oldie, but a goodie. Um, this is the variegated spider plant. Uh, again, this one can take high light, low light. It can take a lot of water. It can take less water. Uh, this one's a really good plant if you just want to neglect it. Um, and it actually thrives on neglect. Um, so we call it the spider plant. Um, it'll either be more of a hanging, it'll kind of hang down. Um, and then it's also easy to propagate uh, and easy to um, just have inside to bring some more, you know, plants indoors. I would set this maybe, you know, in a windowsill in the kitchen um, or somewhere in the living room, something like that. Uh, the next one is I have an aloe plant here. Um, now, this is the actual aloe, the medicinal kind. So this one, if you get through burns, um, if you're familiar with that, if you break one of these off, it has that kind of gooey jelly stuff in the middle. That's what you would use more for the medicinal purposes. But this aloe is actually a really great air purifier. Um, and again, it's super easy. It's kind of like the same care as like your mother-in-law's tongue, um, but it's again, kind of in the succulent family, dry, high light, low light, a little neglect. It doesn't mind, you know, uh, being neglected a little bit. So this is the aloe one. And the last one that I have uh, that I'll say for last is we call, I call this, the ZZ plant because it's easy to take care of. Um, this one, again, a great air purifier, very low light um, and very little water. So those are some of the top um, house plants that I have a hard time killing. Um, so I know that if I can kill it uh, or if I can't kill it, then you guys won't kill it. <laughs> I appreciate you showing the plants that can handle a little neglect. Exactly, because I know if I I know people will neglect plants is just like that. Yeah, I can't. I have a hard time keeping plants alive. I have to say though, the plant name "mother-in-law's tongue" is one of the funniest things I've ever heard. I just have to throw that out there. Or it's like it's people call it the snake plant, um, or the or the botanical name is Sansevieria. But I like to use all those different fun names just because. It's fun. <laughs> I, I could be wrong, but I think my mom has a mother-in-law's tongue plant that her mother-in-law gave her, and I think it's like 45 years old. Is that possible? I think it is. They can live that long. Um, you can propagate them really easily. Uh, it's just a great, again, it's an easy plant to have in your house. It's actually one of the really top kind of very trending house plants. It's a little contemporary too. 
And tell me, if people want more information on Wallace Garden Center, where can they go? Yeah, go to our website, wallach.net, and then also look for us, all the fun stuff that we have on our social pages on Facebook and Instagram. Jeff, thank you so much for talking with me today. Yeah, thank you. For Great Day Live, I'm Joanne Dixon.